This show is brought to you by Cash App. As you know, Cash App is the simplest way to send to send and save money. And now it's the simplest way to try and uh, grow your money. Introducing Cash App Investing. Unlike investing tools that only let you buy entire shares of stock, Cash App lets you instantly invest as little or as much as you want. This way, when your favorite company stock is just a little too expensive, you can still own a piece with as little as $1. And because Cash App is directly connected to your bank account, there are no four to five day waiting periods for inbound transfers. So you can start investing today. Brokerage services are provided by Cash App Investing, a subsidiary of Square and member SIPC. And as always, when you sign up for Cash App and use the promo code CONGRATS, not only will you instantly receive $10, but Cash App will also now donate $10 to the Trevor Project, an amazing organization that provides crisis intervention and suicide prevention services to LGBTQ youth across America. Download Cash App from the App Store or Google Play Store today. Call on fire. Thanks a lot. Yo, what's up? It's uh, episode 149 of Congratulations. We have one episode left until ep- until episode 150, and you know what that means? Fucking nothing, dude. We do what we want here. We don't give a shit. We do what the fuck we want. Maybe 150 is gonna be good. Maybe it's not gonna be good. Maybe it fucking. I look. Here's what I want to actually say before I even get into what the fuck's going on. I do this shit for me, okay? It's for me. I saw it. Sometimes I see, eh, his podcast is funnier than his stand-up. Eh, his stand-up is funnier than his podcast. I block those people. I don't give a shit. I'm not doing it for you, okay? And because of that, let me, nah, let me even go. Even 1%, I'm not doing it for you. You know how much I'm doing it for you? Zilch, okay? You know what that means? Because I'm doing it for me, hunt it. Do you know what it means? Because I'm doing it for me, hon it. Do you know what that means? That I'm not doing it 1% for you? That it's for you. That's what that means. The fact that I'm relaxed, I'm relaxed. Like picture me just like chilling on a fucking lounge chair. I have a Mai Tai. I don't even drink, but I have a Mai Tai. And have a little bit of fucking turkey sausage and I'm just eating it off a plate. And it's fucking beautiful. It's beautiful out. It's like 75 degrees, 80 degrees. And I'm in a bathing suit and it's high because that's what's in fashion. And I'm just eating sausage and drinking a fucking Americano. But I have a Mai Tai just in case I want to start drinking today. Do you understand me? Okay. Uh, And I'm just chilling, dude. That's the that's the me. That's the me you're going to get. I'm relaxed, dude. And I'm doing me. You know fucking that Luke Bryant guy who was just like, I'm doing my thing? He made a song called Doing My Thing. Eh, sir, regular. He did that. That's my fucking theme song. Now, have I heard the song once? No. Have I probably heard it once in a fucking Macy's commercial? Yeah, sometime. You know? But dude, I'm relaxed. And the best me is relaxed, baby. And if you tell me, if you rank my shit online, you get blocked. Dude. Whether you follow me or not. Dude, you could say, hey, your stand-up's better than your podcast. Your podcast's better than your stand-up. I go like this. Check profile. Block. Because why the fuck do I want you ranking me? Why do I want you ranking my shit? No, that's it. I created this channel to do what I want. Do you know why? I'm a fucking baby, dude. I'm a baby. A fucking baby. And babies do what they want. You got to get to that fucking point in your life, dude. I understand everyone's got jobs. I understand that fucking, yeah, sure. You know, sometimes your mom gets cancer, whatever the fuck. I get it. But you got to still get to the point where you kind of feel like you're doing what you want, dude. It's the Matrix, man. It's Neo when he stops all the bullets and he's like, and he just looks at him and cocks his head and the bullets fall down, dude. You got to get to the point where you feel like you're on a fucking lounge chair, chilling, with a Mai Tai, an ice Americano, and then also some turkey sausage. If that's what you care about. It's all about feeling, man, you know? Like, you could be in prison, dude. You could be in prison for fucking eight years, and you're on year one, dude. Guess what you still have? You can still think of titties. 
God can't stop you from squirting. It's all how you feel. Life can rip in fucking eight by eight. Life can rip all clinked up because the guards can't stop you from squirting. Guard, I'm squirting. Ah, God damn it. They don't go, freeze. They don't do that. They say, off to the hole. Fine, put me in the hole. Still squirting. How are you going to stop me from thinking of titties? Dude, straight up, man. How are you going to do it? It's like this. It's like this song. This is the song I think of when I fucking think about how you can't. This is the song, dude. When when I fucking, when this song came out, bro, I can't play a lot of it. La, la, yeah. la, la, wait till I give my money right. You can't stop me from thinking about titties. Hold a load low. Yep, hold a low. You do do oodle oodle ho yeah. You can't tell me nothing. God, ya da da da. Guards can't stop me from squirting. Yodel oodle o. You doodly oodle oo. You woodly oodly ho do squirting. Dude, fucking guards. Come get me, guards, dude. Come get me, guards. Fuck yeah, I love that shit. I don't, you know what? And I'm already sweating. So here's the deal, man. It's been fucking six minutes and 42 seconds, and I'm sweat. I'm sweating. I'm squirting out the fucking underarms. Man, how about how my opener goes on stage with fucking, uh, he goes on stage opening for me, and sometimes he wears gray shirts. Bro, you can't do that if you're shaped like a fucking uh, uh, pear that it hasn't come off the tree yet. You know what I'm talking about? Dude, you're going to get fucking dark circles under your fucking armpits, and under your titties. Now, am I talking about titties too much in this episode? Yes. Does it matter? No, dude, because I'm in a fucking lounge chair chilling with a Mai Tai if I want it and a nice Americano and turkey sausage. Worst diet ever. (laughs) Bro, worst diet of all time. Just shitting, either constipated or shitting so hard, dude. One time I knew a fucking girl, and she ate so many prunes, and then she was on the beach in the Bahamas, and she got off of her lounge chair, and she didn't even realize that she shit all over it. You understand that that's the fucking place I'm trying to be? Ate too many prunes, and now shit all over the lounge chair. Doodle, doodle, oh, yep, doodle. (laughs) Woodly, oodly, oh, 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 you can't tell my ass nothing. Dude. Fuck it. That's really what's up, dude. That's really what's up. Anyway, dude. Anyway, I got I got off. I you know it was like I I haven't been. I was I was on the road. So now I'm just fucking chilling. And so I got off to a hot. We, you know we got off hot, and it's fine. And the frequently visited fucking sites on my on my fucking desktop on my on my Safari or YouTube, my own website, Sega Testicle. The Twitter Help Center, for some fucking reason. And Pornhub, even though I haven't fucking watched Pornhub in so long. Dude, I swear to God, Pornhub makes themselves go on the thing. I maybe watched fucking two porns this year. Um, Anyway, so what was I going to do? Oh, look look up the shits. I'm really with the shits today, dude. I'm really with the shits, man. Tor. Peoria, I'm coming for some reason. Chicago, Illinois, come spend New Year's Eve with me, dude. It'll be fun, man. I do, I, I, you know, I have two shows on New Year's Eve and one before that or something like that. I can't remember. I have fucking three shows, I think, in, in Chicago, Illinois. You know why, dude. Whatever. They fucking love your boy in Chicago. What's that fucking... I got to take this sweater. Bro, I'm so fucking hot, man. It, not, I know I turned the fan on, but still, it's fucking hot. I got the air on. I got the fan on. I got the fan on. Ugh. That's it, dude. He's got a fucking gold shirt underneath. He's got a gold shirt underneath. Dude, people look at me. They go, are there actually gold flakes on it? Nah, it's just a fucking fabric. But I'll tell you, dude. Um, What was I saying? Peoria, Chicago, Illinois. But they fucking... <sighs> Fuck. But it's whatever, dude. But what, I, what, was I, what, what I was trying to say is... um. 
about the uh I have a lot of gray in my beard, man, and it's not going away. It keeps coming. I looked at Will Sasso the other day. He doesn't even have that much. He's like fucking seven years older than me. He doesn't have as much gray as I do. And Brian Callen, of course, fucking makes it. You know, he puts that shit in it that you see the guys you see in CVS or or ShopRite, wherever the hell you are, and you see the guys on the on the those fucking bitch ass dudes that model for the Just for Men, and they're just like this. I want to model for Just for Men, dude. And but still have a little bit of gray in my beard and be on the fucking cover because everybody's so goddamn handsome on that shit. And me I, and then and then you walk by and then me and you see me on the last one like this. And you're like, but he's still gray a little bit. And what is that face he's making? And then you just fucking and then you and then you're just like and then you're just like, oh, I think I get what's going on. He making his face ugly because he want to load, load, load. He looks like a bird. And he also looks like Mr. Burns a little bit. Um. Anyway, dude. Uh. Yeah. So I was like fucking watching old clips of me because I'm very fucking egotistical. And I was watching old clips of me and I saw how I had fucking just a straight up magician's quaff. And like super like like fine hair like like a like a peach fuzz but a little bit but, but 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 like burnt peach fuzz on my fucking face and it looked really good and i was even younger than i am now if you can believe that even though i'm the youngest guy you've already fucking you've ever seen all right and i was like jesus christ man i look better now okay i look better now unless it's the morning in the morning i look fucking bad and gray okay but bro I was looking at the clips and I was like, fucking, what happened to that boy? What happened to that boy? What happened to that boy? That's what I was thinking, dude. Do you believe that? For the life of me, I could not understand why anybody would ever listen to this podcast. But it's not NPR. So, um, Yo, uh, I was thinking about also being a, like a chick. If you were a chick, you, like I just wiped my nose with my fucking shirt like that. And I know I'm not even 40, but your boy's got some miles on him. But like a girl can't do that. I did Whitney Cummings podcast. She couldn't fucking wipe her nose with her shirt. People would like make a gif of it. Bro, me, your boy, make a gif of it. What the fuck? Anyway, I'm going to Peoria. I'm going to Chicago, Illinois. I was in Houston, dude. Your boy had a day, man. I think I'm a rapper, dude. Like, straight up. I was walking through the airport in Houston. I had just landed, and I heard, hey, Chris. And I looked around, and dude, it's fucking legend DJ Premier. Oh, bro, you know me? I've been knowing you since high school. Now, granted, we text and we fucking Instagram, but bro, he's like, yo, Chris. And I look, he goes, Premier. And I was like, I know. And I was like, oh, man, it's so fucking nice to meet you, dude. I fucking love you, man. I love your shit. I've been a fan for so long. And he was like, oh, man you know, telling me all the shit, telling me what the hell he's been working on, telling me what he's got for you coming, bro, the shit he's got coming, I can't, I I can't, he goes like this, shh, if you leak, if it gets leaked, I know it's you, dude, I'm in the hip hop game now, I know secrets, I know, I know hip hop secrets, I would never tell them, okay, I'm Premier's boy, do you understand me, he trusts me, So when you're asking yourself, when you see old clips and you say, what happened to that boy? You look at me now, you say, oh, that's what happened to that boy. And he's very trustworthy. So, so I fucking, I, he told me what's going on and we talked about it a little bit and he made a video, put it on his Instagram. I fucking reposted it and then he reposted mine. Bro, it kept going. It was like Inception. I was like, how many times do we repost? The thing got so small on the t- story repost. You know, people keep reposting and keep reposting and keep reposting. It's like those, it's like those Russian dolls. <laughs> hey, Russians, those aren't good anymore, okay? You know those fucking Russian dolls that keep coming out of each other? Those were cool in the 1600s. It's 2019. I get that it's a fucking fixture. Lose it. You know what those are? Firewood. You know why? There's iPads. Russian dolls, dude. Anyway... Um, so anyway, I fucking, uh, I met DJ premier. It was so cool. He was leaving Houston and I forgot he was from Houston. Cause I think of him as a New York guy, but bro, he's from H town. And then 
fucking Bun B texted me, told me, yeah, I'm coming to your show. And I was like, hell yeah, got him tickets, you know? And then Bun B got there and he was like, I'm here, bro. And then I was like, come on back, came back, and fucking we chilled for a little bit. So what my point is, I hung out with DJ Premier and also Bun B in one day. I'm a rapper. They probably should put me in one of those fucking miniseries documentaries that Netflix do. Be like, yeah, well, you know, when I was in Houston one day, I hung out with Premier and also Bun B. And that's just like how the hip hop hip hop game was back in 2019. Wow, imagine if it cut to me on that and I said that. And then they'd be like, is that the fucking guy from that show? Anyway, dude, it's, you know, I, fucking Bun B and DJ Premier, two of my favorites. And uh, and that's what's up. Oh, I also added another show in Aurelia, Ontario, wherever the fuck that is, even though that's a made-up place for sure. That would be a place in like like that they, they were referred to in Narnia, in the movie Narnia movies, and they'd be like, "It's because we're all trying to get to Aurelia," and they'd be like, "Don't speak of that place." And then at the end, you go there, and it's you realize it wasn't what you thought it was the whole time, but it's beautiful. Anyway, oh shit, I'm playing Irvine. I didn't even know that. And the Pasadena Ice House. Jesus Christ, what happened to that boy? Um, anyway, uh, I watched The Irishman, and uh, people were talking about how fantastic it is. And yeah, I mean, Scorsese really can make a fucking movie, huh? That's what you realize when you watch that movie. You'd be like, oh, Scorsese can really make a fucking movie, huh? This guy just killed it. Like, the fucking sequences and shit, the sequences and the scenes, the scenes just standing alone, some of these scenes... Just when like Al Pacino and Robert De Niro are talking and you're like, God damn. When Al Pacino's just like, oh yeah, oh, oh, yeah. And De Niro's just like, ta, 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 ra, ta, 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 you know? And he's like, oh, but oh, oh, ra, ta, 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 ta. That's the fucking scenes. And then Pesci's just like, yeah, 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 yeah. Ra, ta, 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 ta. De Niro just, oh yeah. That's the scene in The Irishman. That's my favorite scene in The Irishman. But dude, the the fucking shit is so and then the other guy, the British dude that's in it, that plays the fucking the other guy? The guy from uh what's that fucking House of Cards but in the fourteen hundreds? The HBO show. B- B- Matt says it's his favorite show ever. Boardwalk Empire. House of Cards in the fourteen hundreds, whatever the fuck that show is. That's what I call that show. And um and he's just like and I'm like, this guy's British. How's he going to pull off a fucking mobster? And he just comes in. And he's like, you just don't understand. And I'm like, God damn it, British guys. British actors could fucking play. A white British guy could play an Asian and just be Asian. And and you'd be like, no, I don't want makeup. Why would I need makeup? I've got acting. I've got acting in me corner. Why would I need makeup? I've got acting in me corner. And they'd be like, well, okay. <laughs> and he would come on the, on the set and he would just be like, and they'd be like, Jesus Christ. And they'd be like, cut. And they'd be like, oh, wow, well, that was a good one. I I feel like I can go another take or something like that. Okay, let's get touch-ups. What would I need a touch-up? I've got acting in me corner. And action. Cut. Oh, it's craft service. I need, I need some almonds. I need some almonds and some peanut butter. Anyway, I watched The Fucking Irishman. And, uh, you know, the way it starts is eh, se Scorsese, all right? It's like, you know, when we started, like one of those fucking things, you know? You remember Goodfellas when he was just like, as far back as I can remember, I always wanted to be a gangster. Well, Black Betty, man, my lamp, you know? Uh, whatever the fuck it was. And then and then in this one, it's just like, hey, you know, when we first started, and it just, uh, that's how I fucking died. De Niro? Oh, and then, uh, but uh, yeah, I watched it. And uh, bro, my buddy Sebastian is in it, okay? This Sebastian Maniscalco. Bro, I knew he was in it, okay? But when you see him in it, you're like, oh, dude. My friend's in a fucking Martin Scorsese movie. 
And he's fucking, dude, got sunglasses and he's just walking around. Dude, and he's acting with De Niro. Oh, man, dude. It's like a trip. He's acting with Al Pacino. And he's doing his Sebastian shit. Al Pacino's like fucking, oh, yeah, oh, oh, yeah. And Sebastian's like, what? It's fucking awesome, dude. Anyway, I was watching uh, The Irishman, and I was thinking about how Anna Paquin was in it, and I was like, man, she's kind of killing it. In my head, I was like, man, she's killing it, and she doesn't even really have lines, you know? And I was like, that's just to goes to show you, is you don't need lines to be a good actor. You know what I'm talking about? And... Uh, And uh, and I was looking at uh, uh, Twitter. I think it's this, dude. It's beep. Yeah, good. Okay. I was looking at Twitter, and um, people were, like, upset that Anna Paquin. <laughs> dude, this shit kills me. The people that said Anna, pa- Anna Paquin only had seven lines in The Irishman, and the, and uh, and people were like, oh, it's sexist. And it's like. So hilarious, first of all, because just make the fucking movie you want. You're Martin fucking Scorsese. What what do you think Martin Scorsese is going to make a movie about? He's going to make a movie about some fucking old gangsters. That's what he's going to make a movie about. Okay? So people are like, oh, Anna Paquin was in it, and she only had seven lines. First of all, she auditioned for the part, you don't get Hollywood. Okay? See ya. G-gunk. Yeah. G-gunk. All right? Now... Also, the movie is literally about one of the main parts of the movie is about a dad and a daughter that don't have a good relationship and don't speak to each other. So how the fuck are you going to give her more lines when that's what the movie's about? People are so fucking I wrote people mad that Anna Paquin only had seven lines in the Irishman. The movie's about how De Niro wasn't a good dad and didn't talk with his daughter. Also, Anna Paquin still killed it. And I was thinking about how Anna Paquin was killing it. Her performance was true acting, just not with the lines, dude. And, you know, that's hard to do, too. It's so lame. Like, there's not enough fucking everything they reboot is with women anyway, dude. Right now. It's like Ghostbusters and shit, and then they made Charlie's Angels, which is, you know, fucking women, and and, and it fucking bombed. I can tell when a movie's going to bomb, dude. I can't wait till that Cats movie comes out, bro. I can't wait till that Cats movie comes out. That fucking casting of the Cats movie is the most atrocious casting of all time, dude. It's hilarious. And by the way, good fucking actors in that movie. Just the way it's cast and how put together it is. Bro, it's such a... Like, Jason Derulo's in it. Imagine he's in it and he's just like... Boop, 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 boop. That fucking song. Boop, 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 boop. Wiggle, wiggle with it. Boop, 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 boop. And he just goes, meow. Boop, 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 boop. Row. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Fucking, oh, here the girl comes with that big fat cat butt. Boop, 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 meow. Boop, 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 purr. Boop, 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 boop. Dude, fucking Jason Derulo. <laughs> How much? I don't know if this is true or not, but if J- but Jason Derulo's whole life is a Sprite commercial. I don't give a fuck, dude. I can just imagine him just going like, ah, boop, boop, boop. The fact that Jason Derulo isn't in a Sprite... You know what? He's in a Sprite commercial. I don't give a fuck. He's got to be in a Sprite commercial. If he's not in a Sprite commercial, he's in a Sprite commercial. He, I've never seen someone who would more be in a fucking Sprite commercial than Jason Derulo. Like, not in the Coke commercial, you know? But like, well, okay. They want me to do Sprite? Sure. Wiggle, wiggle with it. Bro, how are you going to make a song about a big fat butt? Uh, Beatles. Beatles rolling over in the grave. Beatles songs fucking suck too, though, you know? Beatles songs fucking, they're just like, we all live in a yellow submarine. All right, dude. Ah, fucking people love the Beatles, bro. 
And they're just like, Lucy in the sky with diamonds. And people are like, oh, but it's about LSD. Oh, really? Oh, yeah? Uh, okay. John Lennon is the shit, though. That Imagine song? I mean, it's disrespectful. But John Lennon is the shit. I remember when I was a kid, I saw a fucking movie called Backbeat about the Beatles with my parents, and Ringo was only in like two scenes. And after the fucking movie, I said to my dad, I said, hey, imagine you were in, you, you, you were an actor and you got the part of Ringo, and you're like, hey, guys, I'm going to be in a movie about the Beatles, and I play Ringo. People will be like so fucking like excited, and then you're only in two scenes. And then my dad laughed, and it made me feel so fucking good, and because I loved making my parents laugh all the time. And that's probably why I'm a comedian. Uh, So, here we go. Ads. Tipsy Elves. It's officially the holidays, and no party is complete without getting your ultra-festive holiday clothing from Tipsy Elves. Tipsy Elves is the one-stop shop for all your holiday clothing needs. They sell one-of-a-kind Christmas sweaters, dresses, family pajamas, and onesies that will transform your holiday party into an unforgettable experience. You will be the life of the party. Reveal your hilarious holiday alter ego and score bragging rights for having the best Christmas sweater at the party. They have hilarious designs. Tipsy Elves' hilarious sweaters will have everyone at the party laughing. They're high-quality, comfortable. Uh, Interactive sweaters. Skip the small talk and bring the fun to the party for drinking game sweaters. Two tacky tinsel and lights. From drinking game sweaters to tacky tinsel and lights. Got it. These sweaters are ultimate icebreakers. Uh, They've got onesies. They've got matching pajamas for you and your loved ones. T-shirts, Christmas suits, dude. White elephant gifts. Uh, They did all your shopping for you. Just go on the website and check it out. Say snow thank you to Boring this year. Try one of the hilariously awesome designs from Tipsy Elves. Go to tipsyelves.com slash congrats now to get 20% off your entire order. That's tipsyelves.com slash congrats for 20% off today. Don't you understand that? Stance. Do you remember when socks used to be one of the worst things you can get at Christmas? I do, dude. When I was a kid, I hated getting socks. Now, the whole game changed. And the whole game changed because of this company stance. Okay? It used to go fruitcake, then socks, then maybe a gift certificate to a restaurant that you didn't like. All right. I remember one time my aunt, my aunt, my ex aunt, actually, she ended up divorcing, but she got me these Mickey Mouse hats and I was like, oh, good idea. And I took a picture with my brother with with the hat and my mom made me do it to send it to her. Those those give sucks, dude. Anyway, times have changed because over the last few years, stance has completely changed the reputation of socks. That's awesome, dude. They took this piece of apparel no one cared about and made them something people can't stop thinking about. And now I think about all the time. I'm wearing stance right now. And matter of fact, I'm wearing two of them right now. Uh, incredible design and comfort, unmatched durability, casual everyday styles, and uh, like no shows and crews or performance athletic products. Bro, they got it all. My listeners get a free pair of socks with their next order. All you have to do is go to stance.com slash congrats. That's stance.com slash congrats. I can't think of a better gift to give for this holiday. Then Stance sucks, and that's the truth. Take the guesswork out of the holiday shopping. Stance makes gifts easy, and everyone will be happy. Stance.com slash congrats for all your holiday needs and free socks with purchase. Wiggle, wiggle with it. Jason Derulo's in Cats, bro. You understand what I'm saying? Let's look up this shit. Cats the movie. First of all, Don't make Cats the movie, and let me tell you why. Because Cats the musical fucking sucks. That's why. Oh, really? Fucking Perigal hat? What is the fucking thing? Perigal hats? What the fuck do they say? Jellical? Jellical cats? Oh, yeah? See ya. Oh, really? Jellical cats? See ya. Oh, are you on fucking Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds when you wrote this? See ya. Dude, Jellical cats. You understand what I'm saying? And Jason Derulo was like, yup. Are you fucking out of your mind, world? Jason Derulo said, Jellicle Cats, sign me up. Whoop, 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 whoop. Hey, dude, that whole thing is fucking utter nonsense. Imagine going to see a matinee of cats. Dude, stay in the car. If you fucking drive to Cats 
for a matinee, stay in the parking lot in the car and just make shit up in your head. It'll be way fucking better, dude. I would never see that movie fucking Cats, dude. They try to make it all like fucking ooh, Cats, and then fucking what's her name? Just like on the fucking with her fucking human nails and shit. What's her fucking name? Taylor Swift? Bro, you know? Focus on getting your catalog back. Focus on getting your catalog back. Don't make a movie. What are you doing, Taylor Swift? Focus on getting your catalog back from Scooter Braun. Scooter Braun. How's Scooter Braun not in the 1940s? Hey, what's up? How you doing? I'd like to manage you. My name's Scooter. Scooter Braun. Hey, how are you? He has a fucking hat. He'd have a hat with like one of those fucking feathers in it. Hey, how you doing, kiddo? Yeah, you look really talented. How old are you? One. I the poopy. Well, you're going to grow up to be a superstar. I'm Scooter. Scooter Braun. Would you like to go see a matinee? What is it? It's a bunch of fucking cats running around. It's fucking absolutely ridiculous. You'd rather stay in your car. Come on, let's go. Get you some popcorn and lollipops. Let's go. You're going to be a big star one day. When? In 90 years, because that's when you'll grow up. You're so young. You're negative fucking 40. Did you come in? How? He just walks up to a pregnant lady. Hello. Well, I can tell your son's going to be a big star. What? Hey, you're pregnant, right? Yeah. Hey, your son's got talent. I don't even know if it's a boy or a girl yet. Ah, shut the fuck up, you stupid bitch. Let's go. I'm screwed wrong. Uh, yeah, dude. Wow, I can't wait to see cats. I would never see cats. Dude, I would never see cats. Dude, of oh, dude, the people that are in it are so... Are, I've never been a more S set of course fucking cast in my life. I cannot fucking believe the people in cats. Let's just roll down the people in cats, okay? Taylor Swift, Taylor Swift is playing Bambularina. See ya. The name, see ya. Dude, the names... I... I, I Dude, okay, let me tell you something. Of course, if Hollywood asked me to be in Cats, I would be in fucking Cats. Do you know why? Because I want to be in Cats. However, right under that, if my agent, if my manager, Josh Lieberman, called me and was like, uh, look, okay, look, there's part in Cats, all right, uh, uh, there's part in Cats, okay? First of all, the way Josh says Cats is definitely spelled K-A-T-Z. Uh, look, I'm like cats. Okay, I'm like cats. All right, I'm doing that. Like, give me Judy. It's like it's a James Corden. All right, kind of swift vehicle. Okay, and like, and it's like they have to put in there and they want you to play it. It's like a stand up comedian cat. You know, he's like, I understand. He's just a joke. I don't know what he is. You know, the part is fucking rum tum tilly tum. You know, like, <laughs> like, the role is rum tum tilly tum. It's on page 75. He's looking at it. You know, I don't know what to do, man, but okay. Anyway. Um. Uh. And uh. And I would be in it, but dude, I would I would be like, hey, Josh, call Hollywood back. I'm not being in Cats, but I would be in Cats anyway. Taylor Swift is Bumbleerina. See ya. LSD. Jennifer Hudson is in it. Like, of course, you could guess this cast, and she plays Grizabella. Hey, just call these fucking cats Lisa and shit. James Corden plays fucking what is the name here it, it won't it won't show bustifer uh, uh, a transformer what's the name bustifer jones. bustifer jones dude dude that is such a fucking song that would be by f- what's that what's that group what's that is adam duritz what's that group Crown and Crows would make a song called Buster for Jones, dude. Oh, you remember Bust? What's that fucking? Long December. Yeah, that's how he sounds. He would be like, uh, fucking, what's the? One more night in Hollywood where you met Buster for Jones. That's Mr. That's fucking Buster for Jones. And it's cold outside. Um. Idris Elba's in it. That's the only one to me that is like doesn't make much sense in this movie. Macavity. Uh. Of okay, the, the next two are the S so much P 
people that would be in the movie Cats, they would literally, like, a real talking cat would get over. They would they'd be like, well, it's between you and a real talking cat. And they'd be like, and you got it because, of course, you're going to be in this fucking movie because it's you. Okay? A real talking cat would be like, but I'm a real talking cat. And they'd be like, sorry, got to give it to Judy Dench. Dude, Judy Dench is in Cats, of course, and Ian McKellen. Rebel Wilson, course, and then fucking, I'm sorry, but the one that makes the most sense is Jason Derulo, dude. It, it's just so funny to me that goddamn Jason Derulo is in the movie Cats that I'm going to rip my fucking dick off. I mean, dude, Jason Derulo, imagine Jason Derulo. I cannot wait to look up fucking red carpet pictures of Jason Derulo at, at the movie, at the fucking Cats premiere. <laughs> I cannot fucking wait to see the for real horse shit he's wearing, dude. And I'll be like, what are you doing? What is, I'm just wiggling with it. Dude, and it, like it. When's it come out, dude? I've talked about cats in this fucking thing. It comes out soon, right? It's a, it's a for sure a Christmas movie. Oh, is this movie for kids? Dude, it's so creepy. If I was a kid. This is how I'd be like when my mom said, hey, you want to go see cats? I go like this. No. What? We, we, it's for kids. I go like this. No. Why? To Kelly. To Kelly. You don't want to go in? No. I'll stay in the car. You go see it. It's to Kelly. I'll stay in the stroller. You go in there. It's to Kelly. But Jason Derulo's in it. That's fucking ridiculous. But Judy Dench is in it. Of course she is. James Corden plays Buster for Jones. That's, ca- that's, a sc- that's Counting Crows song? Jennifer Hudson's in it. Does she play Chris Alba? That makes sense. Taylor Swift is in it. Bumble Arena, of course. And I'm going to go to see stupid Jellicoe Cats. And then go see, see Jellico Cats. You made me go see the musical. I hate that shit. That's, by, that's right in for... That was wrote in, the people who wrote that was on Dallas D. In the 1980s. The poopy. Um, okay. Here we go. Nah, all right, yeah. Ship station. When you're selling online, getting your orders out can be a real pain, especially during the holiday rush. Choosing who to ship with is time-consuming, expensive. So many carriers to shoot, to choose from. How do you know you're making the best choice? I use ShipStation for all my merch, and everyone's happy with that. Life rips and making no dents. People tweet me how fast they got their merch. Two days later, or even even sometimes one day later. If you're selling something, if you're selling something, you need this, okay? ShipStation. I'm making the choice for you, okay? I'm telling you, babies. Whether you're selling on your own website or on Amazon, Etsy, or eBay, ShipStation will make your life so much easier by bringing all these orders together and finding the best way to ship it. All right? It's cost effective. It's awesome, babies. I've saved so much time and money by using ShipStation, and now you will too. Take the hassle out of holiday shipping this year. Right now, my listeners get to try ShipStation for free for 60 days. When you use offer code CONGRATS, see for yourself why ShipStation is rated number one by online sellers. Just visit ShipStation.com. Click on the microphone at the top of the homepage and type in CONGRATS. That's ShipStation.com. Then enter offer code CONGRATS. ShipStation.com. Make ship happen. That's it? Just this and this? Congratulations is brought to you by Cash App, the official app of the Log Cabin. Let's look at the Cats trailer, dude. I know we've seen it, but we got to see it again, dude. Wiggle, wiggle with it. Meow, 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 meow. Cats movie. No, I'd rather stay in the car and poop my pants than just have a shit of diaper for two hours. But no butts, bitch. (laughs) See ya, have fun. But it's a universal pick. They make good movies, but this one's a weird one. I'm sorry, dude. The cat's got a fucking top hat. I'm out. I, can't, I mean, talk about Jellicle. What? Talk about Jellicle? I, 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 I cannot fucking believe that Jason Derulo is in this movie. Dude, 
I swear to God, at the end of this movie, the cat goes, meow. And they go, what's that in your cat pocket? And pulls out a Sprite and he goes, chick, chick, wiggle, wiggle with it. So beautiful. Oh, wow. There's a fucking thing in the back. It says milk bar. I haven't seen you before, have I? Nah, because you're a fucking human cat. Little, they're little. For a new life. That's me. Twirling cats. In a room that's so ornate. They've got ears that are on top of their heads, but also somehow it's not uncomfortable for them to wear hats. James Corden, of course, and Judy Dench, of course, and also, of course, Jason Derulo drinking Sprite, Idris Elba for some reason, Jennifer Hudson, remember her? Ian McKellen is in it, naturally. Taylor Swift Vehicle. And Rebel Wilson does stuff like falls down and stuff. <laughs> does it say intro- Does it have the nerve to say introducing someone? No, 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 no. That's a joke, right? That didn't say that, did it? Oh, it did. <laughs> Dude, it's introducing. Bro. It's introducing some. It's introducing an actor. Bro, I haven't seen that in years. Dude, I haven't seen that since like a fucking Sundance movie and when Sundance first came. And introducing Ed Burns, dude. And this fucking goddamn movie, Cats, has got the nerve. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> introducing Francesca Hayward, dude. I'm sorry. I'm at, I actually left so hard I might fucking throw up. And I'm not even joking. <clears throat> Bro, introducing Francesca Hayward and then it shows her... Mostly a cat. Just say introducing another cat. That's like fucking. That's like when they do Johnny Depp in Rango. And you're like, he's just, it's a cartoon lizard, you fucking assholes. Johnny Depp's not in it. That's a lizard with a suitcase. Uh, Dude, that drives me nuts when they do that. When it's like a cartoon and they're like, Fucking, dude. Oh, for fuck's sake, man. And introducing. Oh, actually, never mind. It's a fucking cat. Director of Les Miserables and the King's Speech. Bro, that movie ripped. When fucking, what's his name? Colin Firth, when he's just like, lie, 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 lie. Dude, that movie ripped. When that guy, didn't he win the Oscar for that? Bro, he won the Oscar for that close up when he was like, lie, 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 lie. Bro, that shit. Bro, if I was in that movie, oh, fuck. I would have killed that shit. Reading the thing, lie, 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 lie. Bro, that movie ripped. This director's good as fuck. Shut up, you're a fucking incel, butters. Look at this. Look at this, what it just said. I don't even know. And from Andy Blankenboob. They're making up. Bro, 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 what's happening, dude? And from Andy Blankenbuehler, choreograph- choreographer of Hamilton. Bullshit, dude. You made that shit up. You made that name up, dude. You, you know why you made it up? Because the names of the cats are so fucking wacky that we're like, yeah, they're like, it's, it's Andy Blank. It's Andy Blank. And they're like, it's, it, it's going to look weird in the credits. Make it a different thing. And some guy was just like, Andy Blankenbuehler? And they were like, yeah, it looks less weird, dude. It looks less weird. Fucking James Corden is playing Bus Stop McHenry. James James Henry is playing Bus Stop Magudicully, dude. The fucking late night host is playing Bus Stop Jones. We got to fuck it. It can't be Andy Blank. Andrew Lloyd Webber 
and T.S. Eliot. Wow, Idris Elba. Or they have hats on. Are you going to try for a different life? What? Look at that. That's the best. Life? That line. The next line, they cut it, but the next line. The next, the next line, they cut it, but the next line is. Are you going to try for a different life? A fucking course I am, bitch. I'm a small cat. I'm a cat with a fucking hat on, bitch. That was the next line. They cut it for the because it. Look, this is how it went. This is how it goes. Are you going to try for a different life? Or are you wear cats with fucking hats on? <laughs> I got a fucking. Right here. Right here. Look at Right here. Come on! Are you going to try for a different life? Are you kidding me? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a fucking cow with a suit on that's got to hang around Jason Derulo! Wouldn't you? Oh, trailers always go quiet right before they end. It'll be like, and then it'll go. Cat, this holiday season, you'll believe. Bro, fucking uh, Gorin Bros, Gorin Bros, fucking sent me some hats. I, bro, send me a decal. These fucking guys sent me a like a, a cap, a cap, bro. Butters, what the fuck was that? Butters just went meh. Butters, come here, come here. Are you okay? Come here, buddy. Come here, Bubba. Good boy. Good boy. Doing what I say always. Good boy. Just fucking meh. Anyway. Um, anyway. They sent me a fucking d- 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 uh, uh, baseball hat. And, and, it, and it, it has a fucking wiener dog on it. And the, Bro, I would have worn a fucking decal the whole episode. You understand me? I would have worn a fucking Charlie Goodnight the whole episode. My Scooter Braun impression would have even been better. Hey, how's it going? I'm Scooter Braun. Your kid's a superstar. What are you talking about? My kid? I'm eight. Yeah, but you're going to grow up and you're going to get pregnant and then you're going to have a kid. And I can tell he's a superstar already. What you going to do? I'm going to force drums on him when he's two. <laughs> Make him give him fucking two sticks and a fucking pan, bitch. You understand? I'm Scooter Braun. Um... Every time I fucking talk about somebody, they, I, I get I get in trouble. They'll fucking write back like, "Oh yeah, we heard about the fucking Goran Bros. Scooter Braun's gonna fucking tweet me now." Um, <clears throat> dude, I'm sorry, but cats, bro. Oh wow, they talked about it on H3. The cats movie trailer is a nightmare. They say. You know what's weird is <clears throat> sometimes they don't have the uh, what do you call it the um, the the CGI all done until the movie like they won't have it done on the trailer and they will have it done in the movie so maybe that's what's up but Universal Pictures you know they come somebody wrote on the comments under it this is what the people in the bird box saw before they die that's hilarious <clears throat> memories nothing more than memories oh we got some memories we've got memories for sale how many memories would you like to purchase memories are about 950 but if you get two we'll give you a fucking deal memories 
three for two man three <laughs> you can buy a dozen and we'll charge you for ten fucking memories what if in the middle of cats it went off the rails and that's the song that happened you understand how fucking that would be my favorite movie do you understand you don't dude you fucking don't and they'll just keep making the same fucking shit grow some fucking balls and fucking bastardize some shit man I'll never be in another movie again after this fucking podcast, but, you know, maybe Netflix. Netflix fucking seems to employ your boy. I might do this movie in January. I'm not sure yet. And I told him to fucking write more shirts off scenes in them, in it. And they were like, you got it. And they sent me the signs, and I'm ripping through the fucking jungle with my shirts off. Till I give my Dude, home. I just want to be in a movie where I'm just like, <laughs> I'm so young. Dude, um, but uh, yeah, so I was going to talk about that and then I was going to talk about what is up, dude, with what, and I got to say, like, I don't know much about politics. I really don't. I don't know much about politics. I don't. But, and I, you know, I don't like to talk about, <clears throat> I don't like to talk about how, you know, Trump is just a fucking lunatic. I, you know, he is naturally. I don't talk about it that much because I just, I stay out of politics. This is not political. Okay. What the fuck is Joe Biden ever saying? Okay. What is he saying? I mean, my dad is his age, and my dad has never said anything about, uh, let me just go to this clip. Here I saw that made me aware when I was in law school, proudly for Holloway, Okay. proudly for your dad, Okay. first African-American state senator in the state of, in the state of Delaware. Uh Uh-oh. Everything about... There we go. Okay, good, good, good. Nice claps. Good claps. Good, good. And by the way, you Uh-oh. know, I Uh-oh. sit on Uh-oh. the stand. Uh-oh, see? Went off the teleprompter. Went off the shit that was designed what he was going to say. All of his handlers right now are going like this right now in the back. <laughs> going off course. <laughs> Stick to the plan. <laughs> okay? But when he says, by the way, when Joe Biden says, by the way, more, like it's like that's like when superimposed when he says, by the way. <laughs> Fucking the planes flying into the fucking Twin Towers. Like, that's what it is. Or, uh, superimposed polling just going down and down and down. By the way, but by the you know, first African-American, we love everybody and this and that. By the way, by the way. Okay. And by the way, you oh. know, I sit on the stand. Okay. And it get hot. I got a lot of, I got hairy legs. What? <laughs> you said that. Where? The fuck is this going? Now, when somebody says something as wacky as shit as that, when you're talking politics and when you're running for president, okay, and you just divert, all right, you just show up to the pool party with a Speedo on, right? And everyone's like, whoa, 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 what's going on? You better have something in store like it's a fucking the end of an M. Night Shyamalan movie, okay? You better be this guy. (laughs) Just wait. You You better have the deck stacked. But Joe Biden is just jumping out of the plane with Skittles. And then people are like, why you got those Skittles? And he's like, well, because you can eat them on the way down. And you're like, but you're going to die. What? And then you open up your chute, and he's just like, but it's less tasty. And you're like, that guy didn't think it out, did he? You're jumping out of a plane with a fucking pocket full of Skittles, you asshole. Okay, let me just go back. And it get hot. I got a lot of, I got hairy legs. Ah! I sit on the stand. And it get hot. I First of all, he knows he's fucking up already, but he's into it, and he's like, "I could do it." It's an ego thing because he's he's stuttering. He's like, "I, I, 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 I he's already knows he shouldn't say the hairy legs thing, but but he's like, "I'm Joe Biden. I made it this far." The stand, 
And to get hot, I got a lot of, I got hairy legs that turn, that, 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 that turn uh, um, blonde in the sun. Is this a fucking Daniel Bedingfield song? I got, 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 come back up again okay okay they look at it so i learned about roaches i learned about kids jumping on my lap uh, and i've loved kids jumping on my lap and i tell you what the men they're now all men the guys i work with down here what? and they're all guys at the time they're all good men most of them made an awful lot of themselves and earl larkin had a rough time uh, and some of you knew earl uh, I, def I came back as a public defender. Uh, what you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. This fucking thing from, what do you call it? What is it from? Some Adam Sandler movie? Oh, yeah, Billy, Billy Madison. Um, God. I mean, just wow. Just wow. I got, and I, and I, and I, and I got, I got, I got hairy legs. And I used to be in a pool, and I used to be in a pool, and I would and I, and I would have kids, and and, and the kids would, be, would 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 be in the pool, and they would they would rub my legs down and, and, and to straight to straighten the hair, and then they would let let it go, and they would and they would watch it, and the hair would just curl up. Okay, so I know about roaches. Ah, a what? So, and I love having kids on my lap. Ah. But you're running for president, so you can't say that stuff. The thing is, though, no. The thing is, though, you're jumping out of an airplane with a pocket full of Skittles. <laughs> is that you're jumping out of a plane with a pocket full of Skittles? Just like that fucking Alanis Morissette song. Dude. Jason Derulo is in cats. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake, dude. That song. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Oh, my God. That's hilarious. He's got to be in a Sprite commercial, dude. Jason Derulo is in a Sprite commercial. I don't give a fuck. I'm, I'm looking. Derulo. Sprite. 100%. Jason Drulos. Oh, he's not. Okay. I'm pissed. He is, though. We all know that deep down. We all know that he's in the Sprite commercial deep down. Did he get the Coke commercial? Did he get the Coke commercial? Oh, he's in a fucking... No, he... no he's not in a Coke commercial. The Coca-Cola Anthem for 2018. He performs Colors, the Coca-Cola Anthem, but he wasn't in a Coke commercial. Okay. I mean, technically, maybe it is a Coke commercial. Dude, Jason Derulo, man. It's a handsome motherfucker, though, huh? How much has he had sex w with fucking four different women, and that's it? He's just like, well, you know, I like to treat them, you know? And girls are just like, can you just... Oh, my God, this song, dude. Wiggle. These are the lyrics. Go up all the way. Hey, oh, dude, I love when rappers. Hey, yo, Jason, say something to her. Holler at her. I got one question. How do you fit it all in them jeans? You know what to do with that big fat butt. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. What's what's better, this or fucking cats for real? Like by T.S. Eliot. I bet T.S. Eliot would be like, oh. Your booty like two planets. Ah. It's juvenile. I mean, that's like some shit. Hey, what do you think of it? What do you think you're going to do, teacher? She got booty and I, I looks like two planets. 
She got booty that looks like two planets. Really? Yeah, it looks like she got Mars on the left and then Pluto on the right. She got two planets in her jeans. I'm going to put my face on it. What is it? Eat it, ate it, love it, hate it. Up. Oh, okay. Well. Yeah, bro. Damn, dude. Okay. I uh fuck, it's good. We're good. We did it. Wow. That that flew by. You know what to do with that big fat butt. So dick. So controlling. Yeah, imagine you said that to your wife. You know what to do with your big fat butt, right? You you know what to do with it, right? What? Wiggle it. Excuse me? And and, and, when, and I know when I when when I used to be in pools. <laughs> I used to be in pools. And and kids would, would come up and they'd be under the water and I would hold them there and they would they would they would show they would sh- they would they would put their hands down my legs and this is the thing about this is this is not sexual and the interesting thing too is I've been accused also of like doing things like whispering sweet nothings into eleven year old I- their ears but right now this is nothing to do with that this is kids I hold them underwater and they. They put they they rub my legs and it and 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 the hair goes straight and then they let the the leg they they let their hands go out they take them off my legs and that's the part I like the least right because I like their hands on my legs but they they re- release them and then the hair curls up like a like an erect like a bo- like a so the it curls up like a boner like a, like what you'd get if you saw if you were just like saw somebody that you were attracted to but i am not attracted to kids so the things the 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 hair will just curl up right like a clitoris if if you know and um and it will curl up and and so i know about roaches uh i got a question uh dude quick question uh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, I'll take questions from. There's, there you go. There's a reporter right there. I know you. I've, I haven't seen you for a long time. Uh, what's your question? Oh, yes, Mr. Biden. I just have one question about the, the what you just said there. Um, looks at his notes. Uh. Butters, if you growl, butters don't growl. Butters, you're an incel. Dude, we're going off on that, man. Butters and fucking... Butters. Come here, Butters. Come here. Come here, Butters. Come on. boy. Okay, good. Well, you guys, here we go. That's it. Um, uh, download, the ca- download the Cash App for free on the App Store or Google Play Market. Text me, 818-239-7087. Every now and then I go and I check my text and you guys, what's up? And I text you guys. I text you guys videos. I text you guys stuff like that and all that shit. Uh, buy merch at uh, Chris D'Elia store, uh, uh, Chris, ChrisDelia.com, and that's the shit. And uh, Peoria, Peoria, Chicago, Chicago, Aurelia. I'm coming to Aurelia, Chicago, Irvine, Pasadena, West Palm Beach, Las Vegas, Nevada. Go get your tickets now. And my Netflix special is coming out in a few months. Uh, so that's what's up, you guys. Have a good, um, have a good, have a good day. And remember, you know, I, I used to sit. I I would be in a pool and 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 and